We all know by now that Steph Curry is the greatest shooter in basketball history. One of the biggest reasons for this is his ability to shoot from so far. If you're looking to add range to your bag, don't miss out on this video. The details are what matter most. Let's dive into the details on what gives Steph Curry such insane range. The first thing noticed most about Steph Curry's deep ball is his split landing. Yes, many coaches are against this teaching, and I am too when it's closer to the basket. But when you're from so far away, actually twisting your body gives you more momentum and power into your shot. You'll see in almost every single one of Steph Curry's deep range shots that he turns his hips towards the left. This torque of his body is similar to a quarterback or baseball player whenever they're up to swing or throw a football. This generates the most amount of power effortlessly, which is an extremely important detail. We don't want to be putting too much effort into our shot, which makes it less likely to go in. Make sure if you do start practicing farther away shots with a split landing that you are in control. Always have a purpose for what you're doing with your shot. Don't mindlessly just swing your body around. Another pro that actually comes with split landings is it decreases your chance of spraining your ankle. When we land with both feet together, the surface area covers much more ground, so it's more likely that we actually land on a defender's foot. This is another insane curry clip. Look how his feet start, and look how his feet finish. That's a perfect example of how he torques his body to give himself more power into his deep range shots. Curry here knows he's farther away from the basket, so he torques his body to give himself more power into a shot. Effortlessness is Curry's secret weapon. The second thing to focus on when you're shooting farther away shots to add to your bag is different set points, and this is something Steph Curry has mastered over his entire NBA career. Notice over this YouTube video how Curry actually changes the different set points he has depending on where he is from the basket. It's extremely important that you practice as a basketball player different types of set points because you're going to be different ranges in a game. Here is a perfect example of Curry noticing how far away he is from the basket, so he actually lowers his set point to what he normally does to get the ball there easier. Here is a perfect example of how Curry's set point has evolved over his time in the NBA. Here he is a fairly high set point to what he normally would use when he's that far away in a game. The third key concept of building range is ball before body, and this is probably the most important aspect to be able to shoot farther. Having this ball and body connection is actually what gives Curry his effortless type of range, when it makes it look like he's almost not even trying. This is something that I would definitely record yourself doing to see if you're doing it correctly in the first place. Watch here how Curry gets into the bend of his shot, but the ball starts moving before his legs actually explode. We don't want them to happen at the same time. Once the ball gets close to Curry's face, then his legs will start to explode. Notice again here, the ball moves before the legs actually explode. We want the legs to explode into our shot once the ball gets close to our face in our set point. The final key piece to add to build range into your shot is the early pickup. Notice here, his right foot isn't even close to his shooting feet yet and he has already picked up the basketball. This allows Curry more control for his farther range shots. Make sure you guys give a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to have a ton more videos like these breaking down NBA players. Let us know what you want to do next.